Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Asha Manny here again on the 890 as usual. Just enjoying the views of Microtech out my windows because the windows on this ship are absolutely gorgeous. It's, it's just, this ship is one of a kind. It really is. I mean, it's got other, there's other origin ships that are cool, but this one, this one is just, it just takes the cake, right? All right, so today's video is a little bit different. Today, we're gonna walk and talk. It's not, this is not an 890, living on an 890 uh, video. Maybe we might leave it titled as that, but today I'm gonna show you guys how to dock the 890 at ports. Because you could land on mining stations sometimes on planets and moons and repair and refuel and restock and stuff, but the pads can be kind of small and sometimes it doesn't work correctly. So we're so you have to take this in and dock in stations to repair and refuel. That's the easiest way to do it, but docking can be complicated. And I don't think there's a whole lot of footage out there about how to do the docking process in Star Citizen. And I'm going to try to make it as simple as I can so that everyone else who owns bigger ships that do have the docking ability will be able to do this do this no problem. Takes a little bit of practice, but after you do that, no problem. All right. So as you can see, we took a little bit of damage in our last video or so. Uh, we are almost out of fuel as well, so we have to go get ourselves docked at Port Tresler because we are still in Microtech. That is where we are exploring the verse currently. So Port Tresler is luckily right around the corner. So we're gonna head that way, start our spooling. While we are getting set for that, I just want to, you know, do the normal spiel. Uh, if you are enjoying the series or enjoying this how-to video, because this is a how-to video, uh, if you are enjoying this, leave a comment below. If you got any other questions or have any other ideas, leave that below as well. Let's start a conversation. How are you guys enjoying these 890 videos? Um, hit that like button, smash it, smash it please and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that alert button the bell to see my videos pop up in your feed and in your notifications they do come out every single day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so if you are looking for my videos they do come out every single day so don't worry about that they are there and they are fun and hopefully you guys enjoy watching them here we are arriving at Port Olisar now, it is dark. Unfortunate, it is dark. Where is the sun at? Let me take a quick third person. There's no sun at all. Hmm. You know what? We might try to go to Mikkel 1 or something. Where are we currently, right? So let's take a look. Where are we currently? We're on that side. So if we go to Mikko 1, it'll be bright, right? Little side step here. Not the Jericho. Mikko 1, please. Where's the station in Mikko 1? Well, we're still going to go to Mecca 1 and figure it out. Is it in Mecca B? I don't know. It's not the Jericho. Either way. We're going to go here so that we have a better view. Apologies for that. It shouldn't take too long to get over there. I mean, 890 jump is a little bit annoying but hey it means we get to look at the 890 jump a little bit longer it's a little beat up it's been through some uh, recent endeavors and it's been it's been quite an adventure if you miss actually this video is probably gonna air before the other one anyway so uh, yeah there's the bright Sun and uh, now we'll be able to see the star it's not the sun. Our sun is on our solar system. But that's just, you know, the common tongue. 
So here we go, go into MIC-01. We're going to go to the station in MIC-01 so that we can have a lit up station so that way we're not docking in the dark and I can explain a bit more about what's going on. Sorry for the five minute detour. Uh, it is a little bit of a way. Interesting. Okay. But yeah, guys, uh, I hope you're enjoying the series of the 890 jump. It has been a blast to make. And there she is, right? There she is. Look at that. That's something else. It really is. It really is. Okay. Just got to get the views. We're pulling up in now. We're pulling up. Pulling up to Miko 1. I'm not sure where the station is in Miko 1. It's right there. Okay. We got a 30 second cooldown for that far of a jump. It wasn't even that far of a jump. Come on. Okay, let's try to get our calibration correct. I think that's right. Let's pull it up in the, uh, in the nav. It's got to be here, right? Yeah, there we go. There we go. We can set the route to make sure that we go to the correct one. There we go. Okay. I don't normally go to the... Mika one station or anything like that. So this is Activated. a new experience of trying to get there. Here we go. Deactivated. We are here and we're going to do some docking. I'm going to go ahead and give her a little bit of boost. Well, not boost, but a little bit of power to get us over there quickly. You know, it is the 890, so it's not going to stop very easily, but we're just going to get in range and uh, that way we're not taking forever to get there because it's 26 away. I'm probably giving it too much of a boost here because it's going to take forever to stop this thing. So you see we got a torque imbalance. We we got a, <laughs> a little tore up earlier. But here we are. We're going to do some docking and I'll explain it all. It's So as we get closer, it's going to be just like any other process when you're trying to land. When you have the ability to land, you use your hotkey, right? So. Here we are, we are in the armistice zone, but we're not in the ATC zone yet. So we're gonna wait a little bit longer. See, now you can contact ATC to land. You can use your hotkey, you can use your Moby Glass, whatever is the case, whatever you prefer to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do it through the Moby Glass because this is the tutorial, right? So I'm gonna go to friends. Here's the station we're going to, Shallow Frontier, and we're gonna hail them and ask for docking, All right? So hopefully they'll give us a docking situation. All right, so here we go. Docking request approved, right? So you have these three red, currently red circles that you want to line up into those circles. You see how that, the, the pitch one, by pitching up and down, that changes that one on the middle line, the y-axis line. And if I yaw left and right, it changes the one on the x-axis. So yes, you want to get it to where you line up and put them all in the circle. That is not what you're going to do right away, but I'm just showing that off right now to explain it. And the one on the other side or on the circle around you is your roll. So there's a little circle over there, as you can see in the bottom right quadrant to line up that one as well. So then just like that, you can get all three circles lit up green. That means you are aligned with your dock. But we're nowhere near the dock, okay? So the way to find your dock, there's no indicator on the space station, which there should be, but there's not, to show you where your docking bay is. But you have these coordinates, as you see. There's a Y coordinate that says negative 480 right now. There's the Z coordinate that says 5400. And the X coordinate that is negative 3477. That is telling you the location of your dock and where exactly you need to be to get docked. So we're going to start moving to align ourselves in that direction. We want to make sure all the numbers are going down. So as you see, the Z is getting closer. The X is getting closer. So we are moving in the correct uh, direction. I have never docked at this station either. So this is completely blind on knowing where the docking port is. So this is perfect for this video to show you that you just follow these coordinates to get to the docking bay. 
You could also, once you see the docking bay, it's obviously easier if you know where it is. Um, again, I have no idea where it is. So we're just gonna move in that direction. You see all the numbers are going down, including the Y is going down. So that's your elevation. And the other ones are your forward, backwards, left and right. And so we are getting closer. The Z is going down much faster than the X. Can we spot the docking bay yet? Um, it seems like we're level almost. So it's gotta be on our side here. Actually, I think our Y situation is perfect. So then where is the docking port? If the Y is perfect, that means we should be leveled with it. You know what? I think it's right there. You see that? Actually, there it is. You see it? I'm pointing right at it, okay? It's sticking out of there, I think. I'm going to go to third person real quick to get a better view. Maybe that's not it sticking out. Okay, let's just follow the coordinates, okay? So you see we're at 1,000 for that one? It's going up, so we're not, we don't want to go in that direction. So we want to go back in this direction. Now it's going down. Everything's going down again. So I think it's on this arm here, sticking out this white arm right in front of me. I'm going to go again into third person so I can see better. There it is. I think it's that right there. You see kind of uh, in the center of the screen. It's right there. It's sticking out. Yeah, I'll, I'll show in the, in the first person. So it's this right here. There's an arm sticking out right here. So we're getting close. As you can see, the numbers are starting to get down. So Y is literally at zero, right? Okay. And then Z is at 600 and X is at 400. So now we're going to adjust our positioning to where we get our circles in the correct spot. So I'm setting my yaw in the circle and my Y pitch in the circle and setting my roll. We are completely aligned with our dock. So that means we don't want to move our right stick or your mouse if you're playing on the mouse and keyboard at all because it is perfectly aligned. So now we're just going to move with our thrusters, our forward, back, left and right thrusters to get closer to where we need to be. As you can see, as I go to the left, I am all thrusters to the left there. My x-axis is decreasing or I guess technically increasing because it's going from negative to positive. But we're getting closer in the X. But we're not going up at all, so the Z is not changing. So I can kind of go, you see my velocity vector? You see, because that's where the docking port is. So we can go in that direction to move both the Z axis and the X at the same time. The X is starting to get low, so we're gonna do more forward than to the left. As you can see now, you can clearly see the docking port. And take your time, there's no rush. You know, in real life, you would take it real nice and easy when it comes to docking, right? You would not be playing in any games and boosting and, and going really fast. So take it real nice and slow. Um, I'll show you what it looks like from third person right now. See, there's the docking port. So you can use this to get nice and close, but as you get closer and closer, you really, really, really wanna use the, uh, the coordinates on your HUD because getting that to line up perfectly with that airlock, we're, we're docking there on the back left airlock, it's gonna be really hard to do it in third person. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go back here and look at our coordinates. So again, we're gonna move a little bit to the diagonal, uh, diagonal in the forward left direction. We're almost there to zero on the X. It's gonna start getting loud here kind of got to either turn that down or deal with the beepiness. Apologies for that, but this is how you dock. It gives you little notifications on what is going on. Make sure you keep your circles aligned. So as you can see, our X is getting pretty close, so we're going to move our Z up. I'm also going to take my limiter down. So my limiter is all the way down now, so I make my movements real precise. We're gonna actually drop our altitude a little bit. The Y is not perfectly aligned. 
and still moving forward as well. Now we're about perfect on the Y. See, perfect. And now we're going to go forward just a tad bit more as it's now within 10. There is an auto dock feature. You could just hold the end button down right now and it would dock for you. But this is how to manually do it. And I wanted to show this off. So, as you see, the Z is pretty good. The, the Y is pretty good. We're going to move the X a little bit further now. We're going to make sure that everything is still correctly pitched and yaw. Make sure all those circles stay aligned. Make sure we're all good in all those directions. Get the X closer. Bring the Z a little bit closer. You see the noise is getting more interesting. I will make sure to pick up my voice a little bit. Docking initiated manually. Look at that. Manual docking, no problem, right? Complete. Docking complete. Inactive. Engines inactive. Okay. So there we are. We are docked at a station. That is how it's done. So pay attention to the HUD and those coordinates, the XYZ coordinates and your circles, and it will take you directly to your dock and you can park manually. Once you get to a certain distance, you can hold the end button, the landing button, and it will auto dock for you. But personally, you know, just like landing and auto landing, do it yourself. Don't be a pansy. Do it yourself. It's fun. And it takes a little bit of practice. That's okay. So as you see, we're almost out of fuel and we're running, uh, we're a little bit damaged. So let's check out how much money this is going to cost us. So this is the 890, right? It's expensive upkeep. It's this is the biggest ship in the game that you have access to. So it's the most expensive ship to keep up, like like fuel and repairs. It's expensive, guys. So imagine how the capital ships in the future are going to cost. It's going to be brutal. So let's get let's take a look at it, okay? Here we are. We're going to go into the repair screen. And it should work. Yep. So repair costs not so much, okay? I'm honestly not that much damaged. It there's a couple red markers on the on the on the HUD showing that I'm damaged, but it's not that bad. Here's the biggie though, right? Here's the biggie. Check this guy out. We're almost empty on fuel. Fifty-four thousand to refuel our hydrogen. That is a big chunk. So let's take a look. It's at fifty-four thousand, and I would say what? There's like fifteen percent left in the tank, maybe. Maybe I don't know. It's kind of hard to judge that bar. But that, if it was an empty, it'd be over 60,000, probably running close to 70,000 to fill up the 890's full tank. That's crazy. But yeah, so uh, if you enjoyed this docking tutorial and enjoy the 890 and enjoy everything that I am doing with the 890, uh, it's, it's going to be a feature in a lot of the videos. Uh, I haven't messed with the manual refueling. I don't know exactly how that works. I'm not going to deal with it here. Maybe in the future I'll deal with that. But if you're enjoying these videos and enjoying everything that I'm putting out, leave a comment below. Let me know you're having a good time watching and you're enjoying. Always, I'm accepting ideas. Uh, we have a Discord that you can join if you want to join Astro Mercenaries and hang out with us in the organization. We're always having a good time every single night. Uh, yeah, so smash that like button as well. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that alert button. You know a video is coming out every single day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you can keep up to date and watch every single day. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Astro Manny, and I'm signing off. I hope you have a wonderful day. Adios.